down in the distillery district here. So this is where we started in 2002, 10 years ago. Uh, this is still a very really hard-working brewery. We have a second brewery in uh, Scarborough, which is where we uh, make uh, most of our bottled beer. It's where we make uh, our cans, all that kind of stuff. We have um, all of our, a lot of our seasonal specialty beer still comes out of this brewery. A lot of our new sort of R&D, a lot of our new product development comes out of this brewery. So this is uh, very much uh, a very important brewery for us. Um, we're brewing Hellsbach here today. It's one of the brands that comes out of here. There's about uh, six regular beers that come out of this brewery, and then there's another probably rotating over the course of a year. There's probably another 12 to 15 beers that come out of here as well, seasonal sort of micro kind of niche, kind of uh, micro, micro, micro specialty beers that we make here. So uh, we've got Hellsbach in here uh, getting brewed today, uh, and we have uh, vanilla porter that's here getting kegged uh, today as well. So you kind of see in the beginning of a birth of a beer and the uh, sort of kegging of a, a beer at the other end of its cycle. So we brew 1,700 liters at a time, 17 heck uh, lengths here. Uh, we typically brew two times a week, three times, depending on the season uh, down here. Uh, we have fermenters that are capable of either uh, double brews or single brews. We have, um, yeah, that's about, I mean, we brew with all malt. We don't use any syrups or corn adjunct or anything like that. So, I mean, the only things that we use that are so non-traditional ingredients are things that are used to kind of augment flavor, like we, uh, we use honey, we use spices, we use vanilla, we use sort of flavors that, I mean, we use adjunct, but we use adjunct to kind of amp up the flavor rather than actually kind of dumb it down. We're not about making kind of volume beer, we're about making kind of interesting beer, so. Um, other than that, it's a two-vessel brew house, pretty simple. We mash and louder in the same vessel. Uh, we have a brew kettle, uh, which is the, um, stainless vessel here. We work mostly with uh, pelletized hops. We do have some whole hops here. We're starting to buy more and more whole hops. There's three farms that we buy hops from, one in Guelph, one in uh, Prince Edward County, and one actually in Quebec. Uh, that's very close to our Ottawa brew pub. So we're using hops that come out of uh, Bristol, Quebec uh, in the uh, Pontiac. So we have some hop cages. We do have some of our beers that we use whole hops for that we put into cages and, and dump into the kettle. Um, after we boil, we cool it down, pump it into uh, one of the fermenters. The, the kind of cool thing about this brewery is that we have a very elaborate quality control lab at our main brewery. So uh, we have four full-time QC people and a pretty uh, established lab, a pretty good lab for how small our brewery is. So all the yeast management and the quality control is all managed by uh, that lab at our main brewery. So. Uh, the two brew pubs are in a pretty sweet position where they have really high quality yeast, they have a lot of uh, quality resources at their disposal, more so than a lot of other little pubs do. Um, and so we get a lot of consistency and a lot of uh, quality out of the actual beer that we brew. So we've kind of, kind of got innovative products, but we also have really consistent products. So uh, it's kind of, uh, it's the best of all worlds that way. We work with four different types of yeast regularly. We bring in specialty yeast from time to time uh, to make uh, sort of oddball new beers that we make. And uh, the yeasts are very rarely repitched down here. They generally come from the from our main brewery, and we will use them once down here. They kind of dead end down here, and then we will bring the best of the best again from the main brewery for our next brews the next time we brew. So again, it's we take advantage of the fact that we have some. Uh, quality resources uh, within the company to kind of make even our, our brew pub beers exceptional. Uh, the end of aging fermentation is typically anywhere from about four days to a week depending on the strength of the beer and the yeast that we're using. Uh, aging happens anywhere from about 10 days after that to as long as kind of nine months for things like our barley wine that we brew. So we have a real range of uh, uh, aging depending on lager, ale, and then again alcoholic strength. Um, after that, we filter most of our beer. We have a, a D, little DE filter, a little information storage filter here that my lovely and talented assistant Steve is showing you. <laughs> and um, most of our beer is filtered. Uh, some of it isn't. We probably have about six to ten brands over the course of a year that we don't filter. Most of them are filtered though, and they wind up in the bright beer tank here where the CO2 is adjusted or the nitrogen is injected into them if there's a nitrogen charged beer like our, cobble, our cobblestone stout or a vanilla porter. We make a couple of Irish red beers as well, um, and then they're kegged. Uh, again, even the kegs are kind of washed and sterilized on our uh, keg line up at the main brewery and then shipped down here empty. 
for maximum chaos and confusion. We then fill them here and then ship them back up to the main brewery, store them there, and then we send them back down here kind of as we need them for the pub. So we don't even have space here to store all of the beer that this brewery makes. We kind of get it out of here, send it up to the main brewery. That way our trucks can kind of deliver it uh, any, to any other bars that are carrying it, but mainly they bring it right back down here. So it spends a little bit of time up and down the DVP. Um, our yeah, kegs are good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like you guys, yeah. So, it's yeah. So, it's, uh, it likes that. Uh, that's kind of it. Uh, we make, I don't know what we make down here, but 1,500, depending on the year, maybe almost 2,000 hectoliters of beer a year come out of the pub brewery here. Uh, a lot just so. for the little pub. Yeah. Yeah, it's a busy little pub. How many styles do you have here? Like in a year? I don't know. Yeah, we're over 30. Uh, yeah, probably 35. Like a company-wide in the course of a year, yeah, we, we have kind of probably eight or nine regular ones, and then there's another probably two dozen on top of that that uh, rotate through that are seasonal. So we do a lot of stuff people don't even know we do. Uh, we don't really wave a flag about it. We just kind of make it entirely. People get angry because uh, maybe we don't communicate as well as we should about some of it. But I mean, we kind of, I mean, that's, they're meant to be kind of small things. They're not meant to be, we don't do them to talk about them. We do them because they're awesome and we want to drink them. So we generally make stuff that we want to drink ourselves and if other people like it, it's a bonus. So it's, it's worked so far. We're well, happy. We're happy. I'm happy. <laughs> you happy? I'm happy. I'm very happy. <laughs>
we were fortunate enough to photograph and document a lot of it. And the idea being focusing on breweries that existed in this area. So you could have gone across Canada, but what's cool is when we opened our Ottawa brewery, we did the same thing again. And we researched all the history there. Yeah, I saw, oh, the, I saw the building. Holy yeah. cow, it's beautiful. But we were within a stone's throw of two breweries that were there you know, maybe 60 years ago, maybe, maybe a little, yeah. yeah. Some of them were even as close to yeah. the 1800s, so they're the last I mean, E.P. Taylor, who, you know, is either loved or hated, depending on how you look at him historically, that's where he got a start, in, in Ottawa, in the beer business right there. Ratings, and capital, and... Yeah. Union brewery. Union. Union. Yeah, it's fascinating. So, the history is something that, you know, both Joel and I love, and you know, we try to incorporate a lot into like, the styles of beer, or just the stories that we tell about what we're doing, so, yeah, awesome, and here's guys protesting, they want beer. <laughs>